We need to make this happen somehow. We need to make this happen somehow. We will do that in this video. I want the pallet forks on the three point hitch of this tractor. But I don't want to modify this. So I think I'll have to make an adapter for the three point hitch that will go onto this. And then this goes onto the pallet forks because I use those on the other tractor. So this is a triangle very common adapter in Norway. This is obviously homemade, but these go on to these. So this is the equipment part. This is kind of a three point hitch. You'll put that on the equipment. And then the other part, which is the tractor part we have inside, goes inside of this and you can easily change equipment. You'll need multiple of these on each equipment though, but you just need the one tractor part. And so that's what it's designed for. You get those equipment parts that are just well done. So without the three point stuff on them, and then you'll put this triangle inside of it. But as you can see, I've just made my own, I've just made my own kind of adapter or brackets rather that this triangle fits inside because these forks are homemade. But what I'll do is make an adapter for the three point hitch on this tractor. I'll make an adapter that goes inside of these. So we'll need some type of pipe through here. And then we we'll just need to weld on some flat bar or something that can connect to those in order to lock it. I'll just use a pin and then we'll need to support it with something to make it sturdy and nice. Yeah, that's the plan. Get those forks onto the three point hitch. I think first order of business will be to put the three point hitch back on. Wait, how was this mounted? Right, it goes like that. That barely protrudes, but it should be okay. This one should go through. It went through the other one. Well, that wasn't the prettiest cut. The big nozzle is, yeah, I don't like it. This will go inside of here, like so. Let's uh, change out this nozzle.
I use this three point hitch attachment from the old snow blower. It's gonna have to be something like that. It'll be a pain to uncouple this, but oh well. When I took this off the snowblower, blower, when I took this off the snowblower, I uh, kind of damaged it a bit. So I'm just gonna weld this angle iron onto this to support this damage and stuff. I'm gonna weld around here. I'll notch out a plate that I'll weld to this and then around this pipe. All right, so that should be tacked on there now. But yeah, we'll test it on the tractor now, see how it works out. And also, while it's on the tractor, it's gonna be a bit, bit easier to get to all of these nooks and crannies to weld them. I'm going to use it basically once a year to drive my firewood pallets into the shed. I had an adapter for the front loader, but now that I've repaired the front axle, everything's brand new over there. I don't want to break anything. That's why I'm using the three-point hitch instead. I think that's going to be just fine. I couldn't find a pin for this, so I just used a bolt. I'm going to drill a hole in it so I can put one of those locking pins into it. Right now we are going to finish welding this. We need to make some plates that go around this so that I can get some nice welds around it. Be good enough for testing.
seems to be working no problem so that's good actually i even did lift that pallet all the way on the tip of the forks so those forks are made to take two pallets actually it's a bit of a squeeze but you can get two pallets of firewood on those forks i'm probably not going to do that i've done it with that tractor but it's like uh, it's not good for those homemade forks uh, the hollow and i've done all the welding and stuff so i'll call that a success the draw bars are still kind of low but it just barely i mean it'll, it'll work out ideally i would like to have them a bit higher but it's fine this way it'll lift higher all i'm going to use it for is transporting these pallets of firewood into my shed for the winter and that's basically once a year So right now we have two, four, six, eight pallets. If I can get another pallet in there, then this is actually quite spacious. If I play my cards right, I'll get two, four, six, eight pallets, maybe ten, probably eight. I'm not sure if I have eight pallets. I think I have seven actually. I'm just gonna leave the tarp on them. If we need those pallets this winter, it's gonna be nice to have the tarp on them if it's snowing or raining or something so I'll just leave it on nice two of them in the width this is almost one row so we have one two three four five rows that tarp rolls down so as long as they're behind to where you can close this this zipper should be good so maybe we get 10 pallets in here i don't have 10 pallets but we'll be making more in the winter so i can fill this up i think i have seven maybe eight but at least all of those will go in here there's a hole right there i need to fix let's put the rest of the pallets in here Well, that's the last one and we will actually get 10. This pallet is kind of, it's almost tipped over. I should have put that one 
in there so that I can use the next pallet to kind of shove it up. But this tent will take 10 pallets actually. If you had very nice pallets and a tractor that would fit better inside of here, I think you get 12. Cheap solution to store your firewood. I think this tent is about three, 400 bucks or something. If you had some kind of a forklift, you could put another row in the middle. There you have it, all done. I was going to paint it, but then I didn't. I might do it in the future. There's some loose paint and stuff. So I just took some of that fluid film grease and covered all the bare metal, all the weld joints, fill it up nice. Should keep it from rusting at least until next year. But yeah, turned out nice. We drove the firewood pallets before I had put on these welds in here and inside of here. So I did that now, as you saw. I was thinking about making some brackets put on here on each side of that beam, that square tubing, but I honestly, I don't think it's needed at all. This tractor can't lift enough to break those welds, I think. I think it's gonna be just fine. So it'll fit this triangle now, which has a it's called, a, it's called an SMS slash trimmer coupling. So what's nice now is I could potentially connect the log grapple and the silage bale transporter thingy thingy because both of those also have the SMS trimmer connection. So they would fit on this. I don't have any plans of doing that. I think it's going to be perfect. I think it's going to last many, many years. I spent two days on this now, not full days. I could have done it in just one day, but I had other things to do as well, in addition to filming these videos, so it takes a bit longer. Directly translated from Norwegian, it would be a ball plier. Ball plier. I don't know. That doesn't sound too good. <laughs> I don't know. I doubt it's called that in English. But yeah, there you have it. That's my SMS trimmer adapter for the triangle that I'm going to use for my pallet forks once a year. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Growing up I was a weird kid. See no matter what I ever did, all the normal guys would never quit poking fun at me. Mama tried to make me regular. She said the Lord above was testing her as I grew more and more peculiar, unashamedly. When people say that I'm a strange duck, 